every so often I'll see posts like this one, which the mods have since removed. How do I get started with Arch? The mods removed it for two reasons. One, this is not a support forum, this is not the place to go to answer questions on how to do something, and two, it seems like this person was a troll, people were actually providing them with answers, and they were just complaining that answer's too hard, I don't want to do that, make it easier, oh my god, this is so impossible, I just want to complain. So, they're not being serious, however, there are people that do seriously ask the question, how do I get started with Arch? Or how do I get started with Linux? How do I get started with Gentoo? How do I get started with anything in the world of Linux? And this even happened with distros that are generally accepted to be fairly user-friendly. Your Ubuntu's, Fedora's, Bazite's, uh, PopOS, whatever else you want to pick out there, people are going to ask the question, how? How, how do I can install it? But what do I do from there? Now, Windows, and to a lesser extent, macOS, just because it's less popular, but 100% the case with Android and iOS, these generally benefit from the fact that when you're first introduced to them, you're likely going to be fairly young. Even if you start on something pre-Windows, the first time most of you used a computer, you were probably still a child. And when you first use that system, Maybe you had a bit of guidance on some basic stuff, like here is this thing, here's how to log in, here's a web browser, or here's a text editor, here's some chat client, whatever it might be. But you didn't get taught everything. You used the system, and then over a course of a couple of months, a couple of years, you became really competent using that system. And that doesn't mean that you can't learn something new as an adult, and everybody knows this. You might have picked up a new hobby, maybe a new sport, maybe you changed jobs and learned what you had to do in that position. Everybody knows that you can do this, but for some reason, a lot of people seem to special case a computer. I never learned how to use Windows. I never learned how to use Mac OS. I never learned iOS or Android. I just knew how to use it. No, you didn't. You had no idea what you were doing. You just learned it over 20 years ago and completely forgot the process of how to learn how to use a computer. The first thing and the most important thing is be willing to not understand something. Be willing to not know how every single thing in your system works. You are not going to be as competent using Arch if you're coming from Windows, using Ubuntu if you're coming from Windows, using Arch if you're coming from Ubuntu, the very instant you use it. I'll often see people talk about not knowing how to do a thousand different things before even having installed a Linux distro into a virtual machine. They've never even touched the operating system and expect to know every single thing about it. You're expecting a skill level up here with an experience level way down in the floor. You won't know how every single thing works when you start using a distro like Arch. If you're coming from Ubuntu, you won't know all of the components that Ubuntu pre-installed for you. If you're coming from Windows, you may not even know the components that make up a Linux distro. What is a desktop environment? What is a compositor? What is a Wayland? What is Pipewire? If you're coming from another distro like an Ubuntu, you're at least going to have that basic outline of the components you might need. You might just not know what they're called or know how to piece them together. And all of this is totally okay. Every single person, when they first started using Linux, when they first started using Gentoo, first started using Arch, they did not know everything about the system. Now, they may have been more prepared than another person, but once they started using the system, they learned so much more than they could ever prepared for because they didn't even know what they were supposed to be preparing for. But you have to be willing to fail at something. You have to be willing to experiment. You have to be willing to not know how to do something on your system and be willing to learn to get 
anywhere. And this is what all of us did when we first used a computer. It wasn't magically hooked into our brain and we knew how everything worked. We clicked buttons, we dragged windows around, we installed applications that we didn't know what they were doing, we tried those applications, we probably got malware, we just worked our way around the system, trying out new things, experimenting with things, and then over time, learned about the system, developed a competency, but you have to be willing to put in that effort and be willing to try and see what this system is doing, see how things work on this system, and try to understand it. As a kid, when you don't know anything, this comes naturally. This is something you have to do to work out anything in the world. But as an adult, you have these preconceived notions about how a computer should work, how this software should work, how interacting with this thing should work, and if it doesn't align with your preconceived notion, that's somehow a problem. You have to get rid of those preconceived notions and be willing to build things up again from scratch. And once you are willing to learn, you have to remember that you, if you are watching this video, likely have an internet connection. And if you have an internet connection, you have the greatest access to information that has likely ever been the case throughout history. Now, I'll often see people ask, what Linux book should I buy? And there are plenty of Linux books out there. What book should I buy to learn Arch, or learn Ubuntu, or learn this? or learn that, and if you're studying for an exam, I'm sure there are really good reference texts out there, but if you're just learning how to use Linux, you don't need to buy a Linux book, and frankly, a lot of the information in those books is probably going to be taken from stuff online anyway, and is going to get out of date pretty quickly because you can't exactly update a book. If you want to buy a Linux book, I'm not going to stop you, but you don't need to buy a Linux book. You have an internet connection in front of you, you have a computer, and before trying to learn anything new, this isn't even related to just Linux, learn how to use a search engine. So often, I see people that have absolutely no idea, just basic ideas of how to search. And I completely understand now why AI tools have gained so much popularity. Because I'll often see people typing entire questions and entire paragraphs into a search engine and then not getting a result back that is useful. They put it into an AI and then immediately gives them something because a search engine and an LLM are at least right now not the same thing. We'll see how long that lasts, but uh, right now, not the same thing. Questions can sometimes lead to good results, but a lot of the words you put in there are just extra fluff and sending you off the right course. Search engines operate off of keywords. Work out how to break down the problem that you want to solve into the keywords that are related to the problem. Get rid of all the extra stuff and search engines will work considerably better. But how do I know what to search for? How do I know the keywords for something that I know nothing about? Well, you live in a time that has YouTube and all of these amazing resources. Go on YouTube, it has hours upon hours upon hours of videos talking about Linux. Go on there and search Introductory Guide to Linux. Introduction to Arch Linux, how to use Arch Linux, something along those lines, and just pick a video. Doesn't have to be a video from me, just pick a video, watch the video, and then every time you come across a term that you don't understand, whether it's something to do with Linux audio, you hear a word like Pipewire or Ulsa or Pulse Audio, you hear a word like Wayland and X11, you hear Systemd, GNU, FSF, GPL, every time you see a word that you don't understand, pause the video, go look up that term, work out what the term means, and then if you want to explore that term further, find a video on that term, and then watch that video, and then learn about that, you'll come across terms you don't understand there. So you watch a video on Wayland, for example, you hear KDE, you hear Gnome, you hear Cosmic, you don't know what those things are, go watch a video on those, and everything branches out further, and you keep learning more and more about the system. Getting to a point where you have a working system, that's easy. It's like a 10, 15 minute video, but getting to the point where you feel comfortable, 
This is going to take time. This is going to take effort. It is not something that is going to happen in a day. It is not something that is going to happen in a week. But if you actually want to do something and you feel like something is actually worth learning, putting in the effort is going to be worth it. Nothing is going to be handed to you, but it feels valuable because you put in time, because you put in effort, and because you actually achieved something in your life. Yes, it might be a minor thing, learning how to use a Linux distro, but you actually achieved something. Once you have your basics down, once you have a basic idea of the components on your system and how they all fit together, that's when I think you can start making use of other really valuable resources. Notably, Arch Linux's wiki, the Arch wiki. This is generally considered to be one of the best out there. And depending on whether you learn better through videos or text, you could swap things around or mix and match. Honestly, if you want to start looking at the Arch wiki to find any of the words you don't understand, it's a great resource to do so. You want to find out about Pipewire or Whalen. Honestly, a great resource to check things out. The only problem with the ArchWiki is whilst things are written in a simple way, there is an expectation that you already understand how to use Linux to some extent and how to use Arch Linux to some extent if you go into it entirely blind, having no idea how to use your system, you're just going to be looking at walls of text and copying and pasting things, but not actually understanding what you are doing with the things being written there. But the wiki is not intended to tell you everything. It's there to give you a baseline. It's there to explain common use cases. But if you want to know even more, the documentation. Now again, documentation, whether that be in the form of man pages or wiki pages for a specific project or anything else like that, these are going to assume that you actually understand how the tool works. If you don't know what you're doing, Linux man pages are entirely useless. Don't listen to anyone who tells you to just go and read the man page when you know nothing about a project. Unless you have an understanding of other projects, there's just nothing there of value. Once you've read a couple of them, once you have a general understanding of how Linux tooling works, then they do start to help you. But a big problem with Linux documentation is there isn't really a consistent format for it. Traditional applications will have a man page. These can be accessed from your terminal with man, the name of the application, or you can find archives of them online as well. But a lot of modern applications don't have a man page. Some of them do, but a lot of them have a dash dash help option when you run it, or maybe it's dash H, maybe it's dash capital H, maybe they don't have any local documentation, maybe it's only an online wiki, maybe it's something in the readme, and you're not really going to know when you first look at it. When you have a general understanding of this tool, you can start to sort of guess where it might be, but a quick search on a search engine is going to find it anyway. And if you can't work something out, it is okay to ask a question. But please, please learn how a forum works. It's not a Twitter post. It's not you shit talking on Discord. There's no need to try and insult the project you're asking something about. Just Lay out the problem you have. Hey, I'm trying to do this thing. I've tried this. I've tried that. I don't really know where to find this information. Can anybody help me? And if you explain it in a calm and rational way, and also you explain it in the right location, because not every single forum is a support forum. Go to a support forum. Don't just go to a place because it's popular and you think someone's going to answer you. Go to a place where people actually want to answer you and you will hopefully get an answer. Now, is it going to be straight away? No, because you're waiting for somebody else to do the work for you. But if you explain something rationally, if you have an actual problem that can be explained, you will get an answer eventually. Keep in mind that you're gonna have to deal with trolls. If you ask a question online, people are gonna troll you. It might be more so in other places, it might be less so in others, but it's gonna happen. This is just the nature of doing something online. Does it mean that everybody hates you? No, but it does mean that some people like to rile you up, and if you're not able to deal with that, 
frankly, there's nothing I can do to help you because anywhere you go to ask questions, that's gonna happen at some point. So hopefully you feel inspired to go and learn something new. And most of what I said here applies pretty generally as well. It's not just about Arch Linux. It's not just about Linux in general. Really, it applies to anything. You live in the greatest time for information. Use the information. Don't just try to learn things by yourself and things will go considerably smoother for you. So, if you liked the video, go like the video, go subscribe as well, and if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, star, leave, bearer, pay, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and you should use the Arch Wiki.